Hey guys, I'm out in the woods with my buddy Champ, the Bernadoodle. And as you can see, he's doing a really nice job healing with me. Despite all the distractions of the forest. Go buddy, good job. So I'm just healing him in here, because I like to heal my dogs into the hike before I release them. But most of the time on the hikes with my dogs, they are free to roam, they're on break. So what I'll do to tell him that it's okay to roam is I'll have him sit. Good boy. Stay. Before I tell him that he's okay to break. Now he's free to move about and go right into that mud. Ooh, there he goes. Good job. And he gets his freedom. He gets this time to roam and sniff and explore and do dog stuff because I know that if I ask him to come, good boy. He's right back to me, covered in mud. Sit at my feet. I can grab if I need to, leash him up. But with that knowledge of recall, of healing, of downstays, of all the stuff that we worked on with him since he's been with us, he earns freedom. He earns the ability to have a much bigger life than untrained dogs. Hey, break! Go on, buddy. Break! Go! Which way? Break! Mr. Champ is being so patient in his downstay. I'm gonna release him as a reward. Play in the water. First I'll say his name. Champ! Good boy. I have his attention. Break! Good boy! Go on! We've been out here swimming and running for a while, so it's time to head back. Now, as I started to turn around and go back to the car, Champ naturally put himself right by my left leg and heel. I didn't ask him to heal, I didn't say anything, I just turned around and started walking. He saw me go, he got out of the water, he said, hey, hang on, I'm coming. So he knows the expectations so well that I don't need to say a single word. It's just pattern that the human goes, you go with her. Good job, good boy. This is going to transfer really nicely to his family and they'll be able to enjoy him the way that I do. Hiking, going downtown, having adventures. He's going to have a really nice life. Aren't you, buddy? <laughs>